Okay, my name is Michelle Mashburn. I'm the coordinator here at the center. It's actually, this is almost, I think, commemorating my first year of employment here. Pretty close, anyways. Yeah. So I've been here a year. I've grown She's a survived. lot. Went I've far. survived. I've <laughs> thrived, I think, or at least I hope that yes. I have. Um, yes. Welcome, everybody. Today we're going to do a sing-along with the grannies, the grannies of San, uh, Raging Grannies of San Jose. And Barbie Almer, who is one of the original founders here at the center, is going to do a brief presentation or just a talk. And then hopefully throughout the course of the day, we will go around with our, our different photographers and videographers and ask the question of how did you learn about the Peace and Justice Center or when did you get involved? And then we're going to compile a video from that, from those segments. So. But before Barbie gives her little talk, we're going to have a presentation oh, from yes. Supervisor Cortese's office of a certificate it's commemorating our 60th. Oh, she's on her way, probably. But um, the Supervisor Cortese's office is presenting us with a certificate. Yes, so and we don't want to hold black. them up. Should we start that first and then go yeah. to the grannies, or do you want to hear the grannies sing first? You probably want, I want to hear the grannies <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> what are you having for? They all for you. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you have any more song sheets? Barbie needs a song sheet. Is there another? Or we can share. Here, we can There's share. extras here. You got more? Okay. All right, ladies, are we going to stand or are we going to sit? Let's sit. Let's sit. We're going to sit. That's how we make choices. You know that was my answer. All right. I like, I like, I like sitting. Okay, so everybody's got the first song. Yeah. It's the Raging Grannies, Handy Dandy, All Purpose Generic Protest Song to the tune of this land is your land. So here we go. Here's our generic all purpose protest song. And we can sing it whenever things go wrong. It's got a purpose, that's why we protest. So we sing it loud and sing it strong. We start by naming our current problem. Election fraud or providing Muslims. Preemptive warfare for corporate profit. We just brought out this handy dandy song. Torturing prisoners for global warming. For privatizing social security. For job outsourcing for nuclear weapons. We just sing out this good old purpose song. We're raging grannies, so we'll keep singing. And we'll keep raging, our voices ringing. As we get older, we're growing older. So we sing our generic protest song. And now we're coming up to the ending. That's where we ask you to join our protest. Get off your pennies and join the grannies. And sing out your protest loud and strong. Hi everyone, um, Hello. today I learned a lot um, from the group and I love the song. Um, I'm here on behalf of Supervisor Cotesi, President of the Board and um, along with Cindy Chavez, they both signed on this um, certificate to congratulate um, the San Jose Peace and Justice Center on uh, its uh, 60th anniversary, so we want to present this uh, congratulation certificate. Thank you. Thank you. 
Yes, thank you. Yes. So Barbie I hope you'll balance. stay to hear how we got started. I'm the antique. <laughs> thank you very, very much. And this shows that 60 years ago, when Shorty Collins, who was first Baptist church minister, campus minister, and Dorothy Goble, who was my in migrant ministry, and I walked the streets to see if we could find a place to have, start a peace and justice center. I was representing Women's International League for Peace and Freedom that the grannies is part of. Um, and the first place we found was the basement of of student housing. We moved from there, I may be missing a couple of places we were at, but I think we moved from there to the bank building, the second floor, and we realized the second floor was not a good idea, that we should be on ground level. So then Alden Campen offered us the North First Street address, and we moved in there, and and that's when Gertrude Welch found out about us because she was doing fair housing and that was also in an Alton camp and built right next to the peace, uh, the peace Center. So she got acquainted with us and, and uh, at some point she staffed. And Dom and Salito, Dom and Aurora Salito, were the coordinators for the volunteer staffers. And they were absolutely incredible. If anybody called them and said, I'm sorry I can't come in today, they would come in. So there was always somebody there. Lisa Calvillage was also one of the coordinators. So these are the people who have passed, and I'm the only antique left. But I'll tell you, it has been a journey. And then when we thought that maybe we should have a house, I mean, that was a huge move. And being able to raise the funds to be able to do that, have we burned the mortgage? Well, a long time ago. I thought we had. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of people who can say that. And Especially in San Jose. Yeah. Right. Uh, and, and Pete so, Seeger came to do benefit concerts, isn't that right? That's, well, to help that's pay right. off the mortgage. Pete Seeger, uh, at that point, could not carry on a whole concert himself. His voice was going. So he asked. Uh, the, the Peace Corral, the San Jose Peace Corral, to sing with him. And Vic and I had the, had the privilege of picking him up at the airport, and we thought giving him a meal before the concert, but all he wanted to do was rest, so he slept. And then we went up to Foothill College to do the concert, which was a benefit for the Peace and Justice Center. Um, there are so many times when we have to say thank you because we would not be here today if it hadn't been for all of the people who raised money for us, who staffed, who coordinated, who kept on keeping on. The whole reason for wanting the Peace and Justice Center was so that all of the causes that were represented by organizations in this South Valley, I mean South um, Bay, could have a home together because we knew then, and it's certainly much more clear now, that all of these causes are 
interconnected. And we have to work together if we're going to be strong enough, especially today. So let's hope that this 60th year is going to be a very positive one. We have grown exponentially. That's the one thing we can say thank you to Trump for. <laughs> we have grown in the numbers of partners that we have. And you can see um, material for many of them on the table here, and also the fair trade consumables that our healthy world that's also a partner um, is selling. But it's that working together that we have seen a whole lot more of in these last couple of years. So let's keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Cindy Chavez and the Board of Supervisors. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Down by the riverside, I'm gonna lay down my sword and shield. Down by the riverside and study war no more. I ain't gonna 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 study war no more. Children shake hands around the world, down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Gonna shake hands around the world. Down by the riverside and study for no more. nuclear bombs. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Down by the riverside. Gonna give up those nuclear bombs. Down by the riverside and study war no more. Now the chorus. I ain't gonna study war no more. 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 So I wasn't sure which one I go. So the nuclear one is in there because it because the UN has a treaty a uh, banning nuclear weapons that uh, that yesterday was open for getting signatures. Fifty countries signed the treaty yesterday. Awesome. You can find it on ICANW.org. You can see the progress. So that's why the nuclear one burst was in there. There was more going on at the UN than just the president is saying. Well, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> So this next tune uh, is to... Please yeah. Tell America? Yes, Please Tell America is the next one. I think they're all in order. And it's Please Tell America. Oh, you got that? Here we go. Please Tell America War can set Stand beside her and guide her from this fight with the wisdom she needs. Stop the bombing, stop the missiles, tell the soldiers not to roll. Please tell America, bring our truth home. Please tell America,
just for squeaking, but that's all right. <laughs>